Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today we have some nice, well not really nice, uh, it's news that I've been probably waiting to say something about it. As you probably read from the title, we're talking about PlayStation 5 and their hiccups with having the damn orders. Pre-orders are out! Nothing is in stocks. Every time I go back and just click on the link, there's literally nothing. Um, they're saying that there might be some new orders. Just wait and see. There might have been. Like, there is literally nothing. There's nothing. Um, also, probably your only best chance is probably going to like a Best Buy or a Target and find and hope to God you find a piece that is not sold. Uh, I think it's going to be really crazy and very hectic and anyone getting their hands on a PS5, which I really wanted. And like from day one, they're already sold out and we still haven't heard anything back from them. But nothing less, we'll, we'll move on and uh, talk over, take the, this discussion over. And um, I'll show you some paragraphs and what they talk about. So yeah, let's go. All right, guys, as you see, I'm right now currently at Best Buy's um, website. There's literally nothing. It's it's gone. Bazooka. And you can't literally order anything. You can't order this. You can't order that, um, which is really, really disappointing. Um, also, if we go to GameStop, as well, you're not gonna hope to find anything from GameStop, but still, there's no beautiful routers out there so I can buy. Um, and that's really, really confusing because, like, we really, really want to get our hands on it uh, and dissect it. And um, honestly, I, I don't know what to say. It's like we're we're all enticed to get that new console already. But um, yeah, in Europe, they're they're actually saying they're gonna push it and bring it down to the twelfth, like the U.S. So their not their launch is not going to be um, their launch is not going to be the nineteenth in Europe for you guys in Europe or Australia or whatever. It's going to be the twelfth. So everywhere in the world is going to be the twelfth because they're trying to avoid that pandemic thing. But that means they have extra consoles. Not like they don't. But I don't understand why would they push. I mean, it's great and everything, but what about us here, people's peeps in the U.S.? But anyway, that out the way, um, I do want to clarify some things. So this is what I'm going to clarify about it. We're going to have a look at this. Okay, so guys, we're going to have a look at this uh, video. Um, basically an unboxing on PlayStation 5. I'm really, really, really excited about it. And, um, I just, I hope that it actually comes out. I mean, it's going to come out, but we're not going to be lucky because we're not going to find any of the shelves. And with everything that's going on, me, I'm not probably going to get a PlayStation until like somewhere December, mid December, which is, uh, sucks. So I can review the unit for you guys. But, um, Nevertheless, uh, let's watch the video and see what the guy says. This kind of huge box is possibly the most hyped piece of tech of this entire year, and that is a PlayStation 5. So this video is a look at the final retail packaging for this console. So some of you might know I've been testing a preview Xbox Series X. This is final. This is what people who pay for it are going to get. Now we get to take a closer look. So right off the bat on the front here, you see the console, you see the controller. Looks like this is the version with the optical drive, so good to know. And it does say 8K or 4K 120 or HDR, but there's more on the back. And we're basically getting now the whole console sideways, which I think I'm gonna end up having mine sideways, we'll see. It says 825 gigs up here, good to know. I think I'm going to end up having extend and tall because my desk is like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not made like I put on a living room. So it's probably going to end up like that. It says lightning speed. So as uh, we know, it has like a great CPU, uh, 4K, 120 hertz. I'm pretty excited about it, you guys. Even, let's say, uh, let them talk a bit 
we'll I'll get back to the controller matter on it. We can might as well open it now. So right, let's see. Alright. So at the top here, there's a little cardboard box. Cardboard box it is. What do you think, dude? It is the moment. The moment you all see, been waiting for. This is a styrofoam. This is a big, this is a big console. By the way, the console is actually bigger than Xbox. Ooh. I mean, Xbox is looks like about really this nice big actually. and like a little bit huge. bigger, but this one is like about like this big. It's, yeah, it's going to be a pretty huge console. That is the PlayStation 5. That is a... Oh. And it's it is a beautiful kind of nice console. So yeah, I do like this build. Uh, my original reaction to see like I said, it's it's a huge console. Like an alien spaceship in my first impression, something like that. But seeing it in person, I do kind of like it now. But by the way, so in the cardboard box, just to finish off the unboxing, you've got the power cable to plug it straight into the wall. No brick. You've got one new DualSense wireless controller, which we'll get to. You got your paperwork, safety guide, quick right. start guide, your classics. And then you get an HDMI cable. And then there's this mystery plastic thing, which is actually the dock needed to sit the PS5 flat on its side. Because without the dock, the PS5, it just doesn't have flat sides. So it doesn't really sit totally. Ah, uh, so okay. The media you see with the PS5 sitting on the side, you always see this little black dock underneath it. That's this thing. So don't throw this out. It attaches if you want it. You can, you know, hide it away if you don't. But you'll probably want to have this around if you ever switch. Kind of idea of the router too, so, dude. <laughs> finally seeing the PS5 in person, a couple things strike me. The size is number one still. It is gigantic. But also the textures. It's a matte finish again on the white outside part. And then the inside is very glossy, as you can see with the reflections. And actually, if you look closely, really closely, at the texture on the inside of the PS5, you can see it's actually made up of a bunch of tiny X's, O's, squares, and triangles, which is super cool. And they're extremely small and embossed in this seemingly random... Nice, pattern. I didn't know that. That is super cool. That's really so cool. You can see all the ports on the back with the heatsink around it, power at the bottom, one HDMI, Ethernet, and two USB, and then all the way up at the top... More USB, though. Then at the front is your full-size USB your USB type C, and then at the bottom, the disc eject button and the power button. So with that disc drive you have on the side for your physical games, you do get eject button still. And for the digital only version, I guess you just won't have that eject button and the side will be blank. Just cover That would suck. No if you guys uh, don't have discs, it, it's, it's gonna suck. It's a pointlessly complex design. A lot of what you're looking at up front is heat sinks, a lot of thermal management. It's a lot of cooling off those insides. Size comparison time. PS4 Pro. Yeah. It's got a D brand skin on it, but this is the size of the console that I've been using. It's definitely slimmer. Oh, it's and slimmer. It's monolith. Oh, it's heavier too. The PS5 is heavy. I mean, looking uh, at the technology smaller, that's in it, obviously, in every dimension. Really heavy. We're trying to compare it to a PC now. We're now we're getting at the beginning things of PC, you know. That height difference is real. If you're putting it underneath something that didn't have enough clearance before airflow will be even more restricted because of the size of this thing xbox series X. like i said this it's bigger impressive difference here i mean the playstation just kind of dwarfs it at this point and i don't know if that's an efficiency thing i don't know if you're putting it next to your tv you might not care so much about that but as far as just the footprint the sheer footprint of the ps5 i think we're really seeing now how massive this thing is Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire... Kind of looks like a, like a fancy building. Like a really cool architected... I don't know what building I'm thinking of, but it kind of it looks like a building. But of course, there's more to the PS5 than just the console itself. There is also all the accessories. Let's get into those. So inside this box, you'll have a DualSense 
wireless controller if you get one separately. Uh, so it is white. So again, with the Stormtrooper white color scheme with blue accents. And you'll notice that theme sticks through literally everything here. So as I struggle my way through the unboxing and get to the controller, the first impression of it is also really nice. I am a big fan of this controller. Now the PS4 controller to me was fine, but I actually like the Xbox Elite controller more because it's a little bigger in my hands it fits well it just feels same hard. same thing for me i feel like a uh, solid ps5 controller and that's a so it's literally the same thing for me i use a mo like a uh, special controller that is looks like this which is basically almost similar to an xbox controller i've been always fan of the um xbox controllers as well i've i think they're uh, pretty darn good looking and they always stand out but this controller actually has a lot of things let me let the guy complete about it and then i'll tell you what it is comfortable the stems are a little bit longer it's a little bigger but it is still really lightweight so that hasn't changed but to me yeah, this controller is a pretty huge win. You can see the layout is basically exactly the same. Triangle, square, circle, X on the right, arrows on the left, trackpad in between, dual joysticks. And then around the back, there's no removable back anymore. It's just a built-in rechargeable 1500 milliamp hour battery. And the port to charge is thankfully USB Type-C. Now I'm excited to test this controller's haptic feedback and new improved triggers and the responsiveness and all that stuff, but as you could probably tell already, the embargo for today's video is just unboxing and hardware. So I can't show that yet. All right. So he was talking about um, the PS5 and their controllers. There is these triggers, right? So you have these two triggers, right? So with the two triggers, it has actually haptic feedback where when you press, I don't know how to explain that. When you press the trigger it actually adds tension. So the tension, there is no tension when you're pressing these triggers, but the PS5 controllers does. Now what that does is, let's say I'm playing a game, right? Um, I have a some random game, you know, like let's say I'm playing 2K, right? I was playing 2K, um, and then I'm dribbling the ball, right? And there is tension, and then there is noise. So... This, let's say I hit the desk, right? So there's different feelings to wood or metal. You will feel that in the DualShock, the PS5 controller, which is really amazing. That brings up the whole nother level because if you're thinking about buying the console, that might be a turning point for you because the uh, Xbox console does not have that. Now, there's a little bit of mitigation in there. There might be some technologies kind of better, but nothing as what PS5 has really amazed us with the controller. The controller is amazing. I can't wait to actually have it in my hand and test it for uh, for you guys. But yeah, it's insanely, insanely good. That's what I've uh, read on the Reddits. And people who already have tried it out, the testers, I've seen some videos. Um, I think the console's only downturn and the, the cons are there. But the, the, I mean, the pros are there, but the cons are also there because of delays, shipping matters. Like, how is it going to handle? Like, are we going to get consoles day one if people didn't pre-order? Because I feel like all these people who already pre-order and had the chance, there is a lot more people are going to be waiting down the line. And how is that going to play out with us being in, you know what I mean? <clears throat> And yeah, it's just, it's all on and crazy and insane. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, uh, please share and subscribe and there will be more videos coming. Uh, I also have a, another video that I posted yesterday. It was just some like meme reaction. I hope you guys like that one and I will see you. Oh, and then also uh, follow me on Twitch. I usually stream on Twitch. If you guys ever happen to be there, I'm there. So... Congrats to you guys. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next time. Peace.